I have always been interested in the necessity of fashion. For that purpose, I visited a high school. Uh, I need to make t-shirts with things we cannot remember. But take your book, he has to be sure. Yeah. Puffer leaning. Puffer leaning. Puffer leaning, yes. yes. <laughs> this must be the one we always make mistakes. In. That's okay. always <laughs> this one? a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Latin, this you yeah. cannot remember. And physics, you have something in physics? Or? Yeah. I need chemistry, yeah. geography. Hold on, can we go? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's to make balloon. Balloon, yeah. It's to make dance, Kluft. Yeah. yeah exactly. It's a formula. But maybe take your books because no mistakes. Huh? If, there okay. is a, if there is a mistake, you know, many people will fail. Ah, yeah, this one is good, yeah. The people can see us from the window? It's okay. Where is the director? He is on the second floor. Can you see us? No. I decided to create a fashion. To reach my goal, I went to visit some advice advisors. My project is called Memory Close. Memory, Mem memory clothes. Some clothes, clothes. clothes like clothing? Yes, memory clothing. Clothes. I don't remember about my own life. And here I have the important picture of my life. Mm -hmm. So this way everywhere I go I can remember about my own life. If you, if you look here, you can see from uh, outside to inside. This is called a personal jacket. So I was thinking uh, to create a, a ritual where, where when people they die, mm -hmm. it's become a new ritual that they are buried with their personal jacket. I mean, memory is a big thing. I mean, people forget. It is a fact of life that, uh, and there's more and more to remember. But now I'm thinking also about mass production, memory clothes collection for students. So I would like to make uh, some clothes where uh, they have all this formula, yeah. but uh, it's part yeah, of the hidden, fashion. Hidden, yeah. uh, eaten and visible, you know. That's uh, cheating clothes. <laughs> No, helping memory close. But this is what they have to remember in mathematics. I think a student wearing that should be nearly, uh, uh, nearly invisible. This is nice. Yeah, because you don't see. Uh, yeah, yeah. You see, you don't see. You know. Yeah. I would say, just off the off the top, I would say you should find a partner. To find a partner, you need to pr you know, professionalize your presentation and then meet those partners and, and and say, this is how I'd like to work together with you. But you think they will take me seriously? Uh, of course they will. Yes. This is beautiful. This this gives <laughs> someone an idea of what you're talking about. So what if, you know, of course they'll take you seriously. My sheet in camouflage was maybe too visible to make me look honest. A blue business shirt seems more appropriate for successful sheeting students. I made then a test of visibility. Being dressed as an honest person made no suspicion. The sheeting shirt could even become invisible. To glamorize and professionalize my presentation, I decided to get the assistance of a local babe and make a conference agreeable. I went to present my ideas to the hypest, hottest people creating trends, the Munji people. I think it's a blue shirt, a blue business shirt. I mean, to associate these blue shirts with sheeting clothes is to take a, a common symbol and to hijack the symbol. And every time you will see a blue shirt, if you know this collection, you will say, this guy is cheating. So <laughs> maybe after the collection, the businessmen, they have to find another solution. <laughs> uh, <laughs> after having experimented the sheeting clothes, uh, we will never see a businessman in the same way. When we do it like that, then you can see, you know? Yes, you can uh, take your pen and you are sitting. So now we make a demo. I'm sitting and then I am sitting and then it's no problem. So this is a size, yeah? Yeah. It's like making pizza. Pizza. Yeah, actually it's nice. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, yeah, actually it's cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Wow. Right? And then, uh, then we make uh, an event with ACDC playing music. Yeah. 
The next step was to take fashion photos of the Munji Colonel business sheeting shirt collection. I went then to the Copenhagen International Fashion Fair to get some media attention to launch my collection. Excuse me, you are a journalist? No. No, no okay. Would so I like to present my collection? <laughs> Excuse me, I can see you are from the press. Can I show you my uh, collection? Yeah, sure. It's uh, business clothes yeah. with a sheeting text. Yeah. So it's to mix the business clothes with the sheeting text for exam yeah. for students. The text is what they need for the exams. So, if they don't dare, they can hide. Yeah. Oh, this is very good. This, is, this we like, yeah. Which media are you? Uh, you Burson. Burson? Oh, but it's the right place. This is a business shirt. It's the uh, first time we show it today, you know? I see. Are you a businessman? Yes. Uh, you are a businessman? Yes, I have some shops. Yes. Are you an honest bus businessman? Of course. Very good. Good. So, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> My shirt, one minute for a photo. Uh, it's, uh, it's called a shooting blue shirt. But why do you want me to wear it? Uh, because you are known and all this, so it's good promotion for my shirt. No, and if you me if I could take this shirt on. But you can't really. You can't actually wear it. It's a business shirt. Yeah, but we are also in business. Yes. We are also in business. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. it's not my decision. Can you make you the media? Can you make a publicity for my collection? Which That's shitty text? Shitting, uh, oh. for, uh, you know, for exams. Oh! You can That's make a story nice. with me? Well, we're we're yeah. making a girls' program, so. No, I still have a kimbe kjole to all the other kids. Yeah, spice girls and kids, man, and donna, and all the other kids. You can make a fa uh, fashion picture of me? Uh, should we do it here? Sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, I have something here though. Maybe I take the glasses? Um, no, actually not. Okay. I um, come from Habit Magazine. Habit yes. Magazine, is uh, Danish? Swedish. Swedish. This is my press release. Oh, yeah, that's a really nice picture. <laughs> it's a self portrait like this one. Yeah, yeah. Before and after. Yes. Yeah. You think it's a good picture? Yeah. Maybe I should find some nice models or something. <laughs> no, it's much better with you. Yeah. Should I do something? No, you don't have to do I just be normal? Yeah. Just be yourself. It'll be perfect.